to another episode of Parashah Points, short thoughts from the weekly Torah portion. This week's Parashah Point comes from Chaye Sarah, which is Hebrew for Life of Sarah, and it goes from Genesis 23.1 to Genesis 25.18. This Parashah records the death and burial of Abraham's wife, Sarah, in Genesis 23. It also tells the story of Abraham's servant's mission to find a wife for Isaac and the marriage between Isaac and Rebekah, Genesis 24. The parashah concludes with Abraham's death in Genesis 25 verses 1 through 18. There's a lot we can talk about in this Torah portion. Today, we're just going to present a thought on how Abraham dealt with loss. Genesis chapter 23 verse 2. And Sarah died at Kiriath Arba, that is, Hebron, in the land of Canaan. And Abraham went in to mourn for Sarah and to weep for her. Abraham's life consisted of many challenges. His walk of faith began with God calling him to leave behind everything he knew and journey to the land of Canaan. Since then, he faced famine, war, conflict, and heart-wrenching tests of faith involving his own son. Abraham, someone who has been through so much and is regarded in Scripture as a man of great faith, he was also affected by death. The Scriptures say he wept over the death of Sarah. It doesn't seem to matter how strong you are in the faith. Losing someone you love is intensely painful. Abraham wasn't the only man of great faith to be deeply affected by the death of a loved one. Even our Messiah himself was affected emotionally by this painful experience. The scriptures record that Yeshua wept over the death of his friend Lazarus. John chapter 11 When Yeshua saw her weeping, and the Jews who had come with her also weeping, he was deeply moved in his spirit and greatly troubled. And he said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Lord, come and see. Yeshua wept. So the Jews said, See how he loved him. When Yeshua saw the pain of all those affected by the death of Lazarus, he was deeply moved, eventually to the point of weeping. Isn't it profound that our Messiah wept with those who wept? What's interesting about this is that Yeshua already knew that Lazarus would soon be raised from the dead. Knowing this, why did he weep? The scriptures say that Messiah takes on our sorrow as his own. Isaiah 53 Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Death is not the end for those who know Yeshua. Like Lazarus, those who have fallen asleep will rise again. One day God will wipe the tears from our eyes and death will be no more. But in the meantime, you can take comfort in the fact that God understands your pain. In your moment of immense grief and heartache, the Messiah is weeping with you. So as you weep, draw near to God for comfort. And remember that through Yeshua's resurrection, death is conquered once and for all. Thank you for joining us for another Parashah Point. We pray that this teaching has blessed you. And remember, continue to test everything. Shalom. It is because of you, our generous supporters, who make it possible to offer these high-quality teachings completely free of charge. If you feel led to support 119 Ministries so that we can continue this effort, please visit testeverything.net and click on the Support 119 tab. Learn how you can partner with us to take the whole Word of God to the nations.